Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to our video commentaries. Uh, my name is Mitchell Belfer. I'm the president here at the Eurogolf Information Center in Rome, Italy. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Mr. Hussein Salami and his Salami tactics. Um, Mr. Salami is the new chief of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps coming out of Iran. And we may have noticed uh, quite a lot of activity over the last month uh, in Iran and with its neighbors in relation to the United States, of course, but with its more uh, direct neighbors, uh, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and of course, uh, countries like Yemen, what we've seen is uh, an increase in attacks. Uh, Yemen's Houthi fired rockets at Mecca. Uh, they've crossed into Saudi Arabia from Yemen and taken over uh, some checkpoints. Uh, there's been uh, attacks on the oil industry, on pipelines in Saudi Arabia. And um, there's also been an attack on oil ships uh, that were docked in the United Arab Emirates. The reason for those attacks, uh, although not many people are talking about it, is because of the transition uh, from Jafari, um, who had been the previous head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, to uh, Hussein Salami. Now, Mr. Salami has uh, dedicated himself to um, Khomeini, uh, and from the Khomeini ideology, um, he has attached himself to Khomeini, and Khomeini looks at him as, as a source of uh, stability in the security of the country, and hence, you know, regime survival. Now, the tactics that have been deployed, and it's very important because Salami is really a tactician more than a strategist, but the tactics that he deploys um, sends messages both to the Arab Gulf countries as well as to those forces in Iran that are looking for change. And the message that it's sending is that he, Salami, is going to take a hands-on approach um, to the security apparatus of the country and in making specific decisions on the tactical level, not only in, in the planning uh, bigger picture. Of course, uh, in terms of the, the wider objectives that Iran has, uh, they're trying everything that they can to cause rifts uh, within the Arab Gulf countries, uh, between the Arab Gulf countries and the United States, and also between the United States and, uh, and its European allies in terms of the Iran dossier. This is something that Iran has been developing for some time and something that Hussein um, Salami is really uh, going to put his kind of career behind. His job and what he's identified as being his, his main task is to continue to push Iranian asymmetric forces throughout the region uh, to develop a stronger proxy network and to use the uh, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps to more directly control both the Houthi and Hezbollah in trying to create uh, regional chaos, which the Iranians will then uh, seek to fill. The flashpoint areas, for example, Syria, Iraq, and increasingly uh, Yemen, um, are testament to the longevity of this Iranian behavior. But now Hussein Salami is really uh, going to be pushing that uh, much further. We are going to follow this uh, very closely in the coming weeks, and we'll be following up with a series that's devoted to looking at how those asymmetric forces are being deployed and to what effect um, that's going to have on the wider relationship between Iran and the international community. So until next time, um, I wish you the very best and look forward to seeing you in our next segment.